here we're using the RotoZip tool that we got from Amazon, where we'll have a link in the description below, because uh, it's a very nice tool. It comes with this nice head here. It's a Zipmate head. There's the wood cutting blade. It has a tile cutting diamond bit blade and two nice uh, bits there for the just regular one's plunge and one's a guide. It's blunt ended. This is the metal blade right here. And uh, it comes with this really awesome little feature here where you can hook your shot back to it where you're able to work indoors without a mask. See here's the plunge type bit that we're going to be cutting with. It goes through uh, motorhome paneling like nothing. Like right through it. And all the dust is sucked right up into the shop back there as you can see the little attachment there. You don't have to wear a mask. It doesn't make a mess. I was really impressed with it. Top of the filter here, the Ever Pure filter goes down that way. I can reach right in with the right hand, grab the filter, crank, crank, take her right off of there. We'll smooth that hole out. All right, get the little rough edges off, and we're good. All right, and that's so we can put in our Ever Pure water filters without taking the dishwasher out. Yes. Every time. Now we'll be able to put our dishwasher in and bolt it so that it doesn't fall out when we're traveling. It's got a good drain piece. It looks pretty nice. So I'm going to make my little door for this out of this here piece of paneling here. I got these little screws I took out of the old, out of the old uh, cupboard mm -hmm. hinges and stuff. And perfect. I'll make some little, uh, some little pilot holes there so it's all nice. Screws right in real nice and you just like stock. Alright, so this is what's been holding us up all this time. The water in, right? So I have this hose has been wired on there, as you can see, with a professional iron worker mechanics wire that's on there. It won't turn, it don't move, nothing. And then it's been crimped here because this is actual PEX and this is not. So this is a lot thicker wall. This won't go on it. <clears throat> on a PEX fitting, I'm just going to match this into the line with a shark bite fitting. Just push on. These are apparently awesome from everything I've heard. And just split it straight into the hot water line. This will be the final chapter in the dishwasher saga. <laughs> So everything else is there. I got my drain all set. This will go right on across and plug straight in by the stove. Here, just run it up here. See, it's got that little. I can't see nothing. See, it has a. It's right there. There's the drain hose. Goes down there. There you go. There's the fitting. I'm going to splice her right here. I'll probably take, oh, take out this elbow right here. Right there, see the hot elbow? And uh, I'll just put that shark bite in there instead. <clears throat> just take, take an elbow and make it a T. And uh, there you All go. Right. I've got this much. And I have my ends cut and prepped underneath here. So now it should be just chunk, chunk. So here we go. Three, two, mm -hmm. one. Ready? Yep. So far, so good. Let's see if we need it. Into all the air bubbles. I drain the hole. 
hot side. So. The hot water works in there. It's nice in here, all stainless filter basket. Very nice. Let's give them a light scrub because otherwise, what's the difference really between doing them by hand or having a dishwasher? Basically, rinse them off. But recently, we had a piece of rice get in the door, and that alone made a leak. Yeah, down in the down in the bottom right here, where the gasket is. Want to watch that? Make sure there's nothing in there, or it will leak. Because all dishwashers are like that. Get something in there and it'll leak. <clears throat> some some rinse agent in here which I think we should use even with a water softener sure. so it's how do you uh, put it in there okay. um, I think it's in this cover over here okay, so what do you do? Just pour it in? yep just put it in that little area there okay How much? Until it, you know, it makes a level in there. Definitely need to wipe wipe off all that spillage because then it'll be in the in the uh, wash cycle. Where it doesn't need to be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There okay. you go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. This is just cheap, just cheap Good soap stuff. like that. Then we're going to turn it on. And then these are the ranges here. Of course, none of them will have sound, really. Could probably turn on light since sure. we've scrubbed it all off. There That's you go. It. This is our water softening unit on the go. We got it through Amazon for about $275. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And it um, it doesn't put salt into the water. A couple of neighbors have asked me about that. You just use salt to clean the resin balls that are inside. And it just keeps um, hard Arizona water, any place you've got hard water, from making scales on the inside of your dishwasher and all of your dishes and all of your shower, your sink, so forth. It just makes sure that your water is nice and soft and um, you know it rinses your your body and your hair and everything like that when you're taking a shower uh, better as well. And stay tuned for part two, where I install a beautiful new faucet.